Chat, chat. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, everybody? This is Skylar Gregory. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday night. Yes, I did have to look. <laughs> I tell you, these days are running into each other, sitting here being isolated. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I am going to show you guys how to cook on BU. So let's get started. Um, if I can walk around this damn place. <laughs> All right. Um, you do remember... I told you guys you have to buy a stove in order to cook so here is one of the stoves from BU basically right click and sit on it and then it will prompt you uh, to res a cookbook my uh, cookbook is already rezzed and here's the cookbook go ahead and click on that cookbook all right and this is how it pulls up all of your delicious recipes Yummy, yummy. Um, but first, before I start cooking, let's take it a step back and go acquire a uh, a recipe. All right, so here we go. We're gonna head on over to Koba. Now, um. If you don't have the landmark to Koba, you can go to the town square that I showed you at the BU Sim. And I believe their landmark is there. If not, I'll leave a link below or you can IM me in world. How is everybody doing tonight? Um, what do you guys want to cook? Let's see. I'm just going to grab something kind of uh, basic. Okay. So um, when you're cooking, I want you to understand there's three different levels of cooking. We've got trainee, which is basically uh, prep dishes and very simple dishes that only require... Uh, you know maybe one or two ingredients um and then you're gonna go to the uh is it the basic no the beginner and then you have the beginner which are usually side dishes and some mid-level dishes like lasagna and then of course you're gonna have the uh the basic which are going to be um a little bit more difficult um well they're not difficult in terms of doing them they just require a lot more ingredients and maybe some uh prep dishes so with that being said we're gonna try to find um something that's kind of basic but requires at least one prep dish so i can show you how to make the prep dishes this is uh from a prep dish recipe so I'm going to also need to get the recipe for eggplant um, carbonata sauce. Um, did I pronounce that right? Uh, so yeah, let's look for that first. I need the uh, eggplant. I need to get that sauce. I always have such a tough time finding um, the prep dishes, but this is also new to me. So I kind of wanted to experience this with you guys on um, YouTube to kind of give you an idea of how to start cooking. This looks like a lot of pasta prep dishes. So let me move on over here. All right, this looks like some chopped veggies. So we're looking for that eggplant um, sauce. Uh, I see something down there. Oh boy. 
I should have been more prepared, but you know, this is a good thing because this is exactly what you're going to be doing too um, when you want to cook a new recipe. And I have a ton of eggplant that I grew, so this is perfect. Let's see. Uh, OMG. Are we ever going to find the eggplant sauce? All right. Let's see what we got down here. Is this a duplicate of what is above us? Boiled pumpkin. Oh, is this it? That's not it, right? It's a sauce. It's not... Let's see. We need the carbonata sauce, so that's not it. Darn it. Yikes. Sorry, guys. Um, found it. Yay! So this uh, is going to require the eggplant and onion pepper base that we've just seen. So I got to remember that. And uh, crushed tomato blend. So the price for the sauce is 50 lindens. I'm going to have to go back now and I'm going to have to grab the eggplant onion base which is, ah, no, 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 don't change. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, right there. So I got that. And um, it also said what, that I need to, um, this is from a prep dish. This is from a prep dish. Uh, so crushed tomato blend. Right there. Now, I'm not sure if I have this recipe. So uh, let me show you how uh, you can find out. Because you're going to get caught up and get so many different recipes. You're going to forget what you have. So uh, this is when you're going to go ahead and... Um, navigate on over to your browser okay and um, there's another website it's called bufandom.com uh, slash wiki no that's not where we want to go sorry I got confused okay this is where you want to go and I'm going to show you how you get to this page so uh, when you're originally logged into BU it looks like this or it could be on your profile page so I'm going to show you how to get here from both it's just taking a second there come on okay so if you're on the home page of BU you're going to scroll down to cooking here uh, to the first cooking And then it takes you to my recipe page. So I wanted to know if I had the crushed tomato blend, and I do. Okay. And then I could take it another step further and see if I have the ingredients for it, which I don't. So we're going to be shopping for these ingredients shortly um, and the ingredients for the other prep dishes. So uh Moving forward, I don't have to buy this, um, but if I did, it was B50 Linden. And fortunately, I do believe uh, they will give you a refund if it's something you already bought. And then the penne is also, I believe, a recipe. Yeah, this is from a prep dish. I'm going to have to boil penne. I'm going to have to get the boiled penne too. I'm glad I seen that because I haven't done a lot of pastas on here. So I'm pretty sure I don't have the penne. But at least we kind of know where they're at. 
uh, let's see, right there, boom, that wasn't hard to find. All right, so let me go ahead and grab that. Now, at this point, you got everything you need. Um, you can either go home and res them. Uh, I'm already at the store and I know I'm gonna need to do some shopping, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, right click and wear my recipes. Let me change the lighting in here a little bit. Give me a second. All right, that's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and wear it. Um, this way I can uh, just stay in one place and not have to bounce around the grid. All right, so the first one is the penne pasta. So I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna to touch it, and then I'm gonna load it. Now it's in my cookbook. And then I can detach it and delete it out of my inventory. Now, when you res it in World, it'll, uh, it'll automatically delete itself, but if you right click and wear it, um, you're gonna have to manually delete it. So um, let me go ahead and load these uh, four recipes, and then we're gonna do some shopping. Yes, we are. I'm loading the onion and pepper base recipe. So you got uh, two options um, that it gives you uh, list assets and uh, load. List assets will just put uh, everything that you need to complete that recipe in local. I don't use it. I just go to my browser. For me, that is a little bit easier. So uh, in order to manage your inventory, make sure if you right click and wear those recipes that you do delete them because they'll just, just be forever in your inventory. And we don't wanna see people with a messy inventory. Okay, so now that I have my recipe, let's go ahead and hop on back over to uh, the BU site. All right, so um, the first thing we want to do is figure out what we need for the tomatoes. So it looks like I'm going to need some canned crushed tomato. Uh, some tomato sauce and some Cuban oregano. Okay, so I'm not gonna keep transitioning back and forth um, from screen to screen. I'm just gonna let you know what I need because now you know how to navigate there and that's probably gonna be an eyesore. I am a brand new YouTuber, so I'm trying out some fancy shit. Um, <laughs> I think after I watch it, I'm probably gonna take some of it off, but I don't know. You know, you just gotta do trial and error. Um, if you don't know what works, you know, if you don't try it, you're not gonna know what works and what doesn't, so I'm not shy. Well, guess what? I don't even have to look at my recipes to know that we need some penne, right? All right, so let's find the penne. Um, if this takes too long, because I really suck at finding stuff, um, I will do a little bit of searching, uh, area search to kind of move this along and get us in the kitchen, because I know that's what you guys are here for, is to see me cook. Um, do you guys... There it is. Five linden. Uh, one pound box... Don't ask me how many that'll get you, because I don't know. But just to be safe, I'm gonna buy two. I don't know what one pound is equivalent to as far as serving sizes. Okay, so let me take a look. I'm also gonna need some canned crushed tomatoes and some tomato sauce. So those should both be in the same um, in the same aisle. Okay, that looks like that soup. Oh, I know these viewers have such a good time. Uh, pro tip, 
um, I'm not trying to take you guys off subject. These are the five linden soup uh, that you're going to be using to level up your BU um, skill points um, so you can become a better cook. This is the most economical way to level up. You get 10 servings, so you get 10 points per five lindens, and that's going to be your best option um you know but make sure you do do your uh do do <laughs> do 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 your achievements uh because they're going to give you those bu books that you're going to need for or bu bucks that you're going to need for um for your paint and your axes okay so i got the sauce at oh i need crushed tomatoes i got diced Ooh, I'm glad I looked. All right, let me grab that. All right. And let me tell you, this is just one of the prep dishes. I got many more. Uh, my sissy took my dried Cubano oregano. Now, the dried Cubano oregano, I am gonna do an area search on because it's very small. And it's really hard to uh, locate. Now, this is one of the items that once you pay for it, you have to take it. So pay attention to these signs. Buy and take. And the reason I know this is because I sell it. Uh, but you're not going to know this as a new BU player. So just, you know, keep an eye on your inventory after you purchase items and eventually you'll get used to the things that you need to take and the things you need to buy, especially if you become a farmer because you'll be producing these items and you'll know. Um, so I'm going to get 20 uses of dried oregano for 50 lindens and that is from a player, well, the owner of the store, but a lot of places you could buy this at the farmer market, you could sell this as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab that and put that in my inventory. Um, and I believe I have everything else I need for this particular recipe. So, eggplant. Wasn't it called eggplant? What was the name of that recipe that I just... Lord, because I was just looking on the website to see what else I needed and it didn't show that. I have such bad memory. Short term, short term. Um, yeah, it's eggplant. Okay. Caponata. All right, let me do this again. Egg. There we go. Uh, whew, okay, so I'm going to need the stuff for the sauce, uh, the stuff for the penne, Casper's jar. I have no idea what a Casper jar is. I couldn't even tell you where to find it, and I hope we do not have a problem locating that here. I have, oh, I think a Casper. What is a Casper jar? Uh, you know, I think I picked the wrong recipe. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make the... Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Until I figure out what a Casper jar is, I'm not going to hold you guys up. I've made the baked uh, lasagna before, so let's move this along um, and see what what uh, ingredients I have. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Because I don't know what a Casper jar is, and that's freaking me out. I'll have to figure that one out. Okay, it looks to me like I have most of my things, so we don't have to buy a lot of stuff. I have to get some marinara sauce and some raw meatballs. But the raw meatballs is a recipe of its own. So marinara sauce. Uh, I know this seems a little bit confusing, but believe me, it will click. 
So I just need ground beef and marinara sauce, and I think we're off on, off to the races. I picked this recipe because uh, I know I had most of the stuff. <clears throat> um, it doesn't really matter if you take the lean. It's just a matter of preference. I'm just going to grab this big two pound um, and marinara. Oh, okay. That's a prep dish. But I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to um, buy already pre-made marinara sauce. And this is something that you can buy and sell as well just for people's convenience. I can make it from scratch if I wanted to, but I just don't want this video or this stream to be like a hundred, uh, you know, like three hours long. So I'm trying to get through it. Uh, I think I have everything. If not, guess what? We're going to be coming back here. Okay, so let's head on over to my kitchen. All right, here we go. It's dark here. I'm going to have to change. I need to learn how to um, permanently change my um, wind light. If anybody knows how to do that. Can you, uh, I don't want coastal. All right, perfect. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is res all of our items that we just bought. And don't res it on the floor. Try to res it on a, uh, you know, BU counter. You don't have to do anything but res it. It will automatically uh, delete and load into your assets. Now, this is the marinara sauce that I bought from somebody, so I'm obviously going to have to open it. Delete the bag. Did I delete it? Ah, delete it. All right. I'm going to drag that marinara sauce. Oh, homemade marinara. I want to see what the front of the jar looks like. So if you don't see it deleting, go ahead and click it and store it or see if you make it, you could sell it. Uh, but in this case, I want to store it. Now it's going to delete. This is a uh, Cuban oregano that I bought. I'm going to have to do the same thing. Store that. You want to do all of this before you start cooking. You have to res this and get this in your assets. Uh, or else you're not going to be able to make the dish. Yep. Almost got everything, guys. I know I'm going to wind up forgetting something. It's always, it's always the case. It's always the case. Okay, so uh, go ahead and um, start by washing your dishes, uh, you know, if you've been cooking, because it will kick you off the stove if you... Um, if you have a lot of dirty dishes. So this is the BU sink uh, that you could buy at the BU store. I just hopped on it. I um, click do dishes and I have a choice to, I wish I could make this bigger. I'm gonna try to uh, figure out how to get these little things to um, get bigger so you could see the options that I have. And I just, so I have uh, hand wash, rinse and load, or delete me. So I'm going to do the rinse and load. And she does a really cute little animation here. This uh, dish rack is not BU. This is just a little, oh, 
What am I doing? I'm messing with my damn huts. I'm trying to click on this dish rack. Alright, yeah. I want to get this out the way. I just am moving in this house right now, so it's a little bit messy. But yeah, once you see the uh, steamy plates disappear, your you know your dishes are clean, um, and then you can start cooking. So let's get to it, guys. If I can. Okay, so once you hop on your stove, uh, go ahead and um, either res your cookbook or click it if it's already out. Um, I have an option to end cooking or select recipe. I'm going to start with my prep dishes. And let's see, meatballs. They would probably be, I mean, I can go look it up if I want to, but I would assume meatballs are going to be sautéed. Am I right? Um... No, I'm not right. Okay, let me take a look on my browser. Bear with me. Let me see. Um, meatballs are under prep dish base. Okay. So, select recipe. Prep dish. Base. And raw meatball prep. Now... In open chat, it'll tell me if I'm missing anything. Oh, I'm going to always remember the rule is always to do two servings, no matter how many people you're cooking for. All right, it resed all my ingredients. Uh, let me move my little chore star out the way. Okay, here we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm just clicking on all of the different um, components to this prep dish. And she's going to do an animation. Um, That's the tomato sauce. Oh, the, no, that's the uh, meatball. Okay, once you see that disappear, it's time to make the next uh, dish or the next step. Prep dish. Uh, what What is uh, do we need? Let's see. Uh, I'm going back and forth, guys, and I'm not going to keep running you back and forth here. We need the um, lasagna. I definitely need another prep dish. Um, no, I don't. Okay, good. We can make the lasagna now. Uh, so that would be under dinners and pasta. All right, here we go. I didn't do every component of this recipe with you, but <clears throat> I did at least show you how to make one prep dish. So that's perfect. But usually <clears throat> these uh, meals that are the uh, basic, I'm sorry, I got something caught in my throat, um, usually take two or three prep dishes. But I already had a few prep dishes in my assets, so that cuts some time. All right, so we're going to go to dinners, uh, pasta. No, no, that's wrong. Here's pasta, lasagna, there it is, okay, two servings, and now I have to start with the ricotta mix, yeah, so I had a lot of these things in my assets already, I remember buying it, so I'm kind of glad that we're making this. Uh, let's 
Isn't this cutting board adorable? Uh, I got it from Hive in case you guys want to go pick it up. It's, I just love it. It's so cute. I, I need to finish decorating. My kitchen is bare. Well, let me pick up the hand mixer already. Here we go. That's the ricotta mix, guys. Get to see through my alpha, f my alpha arm. All right, that should be done. I don't know why she's still animating. Okay, so now we got to do the uh, let's the uh, bake the lasagna, I guess. Here we go. So we're going to grab the sauce and the ricotta mix. Oh, I already had some lasagna noodles boiled and mozzarella. You definitely have to boil those lasagna noodles as part of the prep dish, just in case. Uh, yeah, because I remember boiling a lot of lasagna noodles uh, to level up. <laughs> But I found it more economical and useful to do the chicken noodle. Alright. Off to, I think we have to, uh, wait, 1,800 seconds. What are we going to do for 1,800 seconds? Probably nothing, because you kind of get the idea of um, how to cook now. I kind of covered everything. Just remember, if you're going to um, cook for fun, you're going to be spending a lot of money. And there's nothing wrong with spending a lot of money on SL, you know, to each their own. But if you want to get on here and, and you want to play to be able to sustain your BU, sustain your shopping habit, I'm sure you're not going to make, uh, I don't know. I can't say you can't. You're not, you can't make a lot of money. But I think that you'll make a marginal amount of money. Um, but if you do plan on making money, uh, do your achievements um, and do that chicken noodle or the beef. You don't have to just buy one of the noodles. I think there's chicken, pork, shrimp, and beef. You don't need all four. Just get one and make that same soup over and over. Do your achievements. And then if you have friends and family that want to come over and, and uh, you know, want to role play and have a nice dinner, then hey, go for it. You know, I do it all the time. But just know that that's, you know, it's probably going to be turned into fertilizer. Let me point that out since I did uh, tell you about that earlier. Um, yeah, let me show you a little something something. Okay, so uh, we're on the B site here. I'm going to go to my profile. Here's all my assets, all my furniture, my food, uh, all my hygiene products, my crafting, my professions, and then random stuff. Here is the things that are about to expire and they're ready for compo uh, compost. So I can go up to my garden, I can convert these into fertilizer and I could do one of two things. I could sell them and they sell very well and they sell for really good money because what they do is they make your harvest grow tw twice as fast. Okay, or of course, because I'm a farmer, I probably want to keep it so I could push out those harvest, you know, and be able to sell these, these, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables a lot quicker. So uh, make sure that when you're leveling up on BU and, um, and you're doing all those soups you pull those things out of your inventory do not let those sit in there uh, 
Speaking of which, I've been so busy today, but I don't, I, I usually don't let them sit. Look at how many I have, okay? Uh, let me show you a quick way to do this. Because <clears throat> you're going to wind up having these in your inventory. And it's kind of awkward to deal with all these at one time. So if you got a nice strip of land or uh, mesh that you know you can res with no problem. Um, I'm just going to do, I'm not going to do all of them. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate five. But normally I'll just throw all these. I'll go all the way around the corner with these. Okay. So let's say this is all I have. I'm going to go ahead and copy these because you want to get them into your assets because they don't start the, the timer for them to expire doesn't start until you load them into your assets. So you don't want to leave them in that in that original state because they're just going to sit there and you're not going to eat LG chicken soup. Okay. You might do it as a newbie player, but you're not going to do it um, when your stats are low. This is not going to give you the bonuses that you need. Okay, so once I uh, unpack all of those, I love this because it just saves me so much time. And it keeps me from picking up things that I shouldn't. So I don't really find this to be a cheat. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab all these and delete them all at once. I just typed in NAO because I knew that's the only thing on my land name that. Boom, they're all gone. Now, here's the second step. Uh, you have to like kind of retype it to open them all up because I like them open. I'm going to res uh, the five platters because after you um, open them, they come in these platters. And it kind of doesn't... Oh. There, see, I lost one because it didn't go on the mesh. Okay, but let me show you this little trick. I'm going to have 30 of them out, okay, when it's all said and done. But I'm not going to do that for the uh, for the video. Okay. Some people may not agree to this. And, hey, you could click each one individually and load them. By all means, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm about multitasking and saving time. And when I have 30 of these sitting here, I'm trying to get through them as quick as possible before I get Carpo Tunnel. Okay? That is some real, real shit. So, okay. So, here, I did the same search. You don't highlight more than three. I don't care if you have 30. Just do three at a time. Highlight three touch all three you're gonna get the prompt you could load 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 they're all loaded into your assets delete rinse and repeat you'll get through 30 of these in less than a minute and a half but that's just what I do of course you can res them um, you know one at a time open it up right click delete you know look at look at the process that it takes just to do it like this load asset more delete that's doing one i the, the time it took me to do one i could do 12 so um anyway okay i'm done rambling about that uh you know as i find new shortcuts i'll be sure to share with you um but yeah, let me uh, give you a quick tour of my home. This is the Roost Home. You guys probably have seen it. It's beaued out. Um, this is my little uh, dining area. I love to do yoga real life, so I'm so heavy into yoga. Uh, this is a mat you can get at BU, and it raises uh, your wellness. Um, it has some really cute animations. I know this is a BU cooking video, but, um, oh, wow. I'll show you. Yeah. And as she does this, uh, her stats raise. So I find that to be, like, um, super cool. Okay, uh. I don't have many rooms furnished, so it's not like you're getting a big tour here. 
Um, I don't think I'm done with this front area. Uh, I feel like uh, I got this free. Where did I get this? In case you guys want to pick it up, it is at Granola and it is a group gift. Um, yeah, I haven't. Uh, oh, here, let me just take you up here. You've got to see this really quick. Oh, I love this area. Yeah, I got plants scattered everywhere. I shouldn't even be taking you up here. Look at these wine glass bar stools. And it automatically will put a cigar in your mouth, okay? Um, I could do drink. <clears throat> Remember I told you guys I'm a Patron girl, so uh, it comes with this table here. And um, you could pick uh, what kind of drink you want on the table? Oh, yeah What you know about this? This is Vegas style right here But when you drink it doesn't let you pick up a vodka so and then uh, Yeah, this is my motto. I Lick the salt swallow the tequila and suck the lime Okay, so uh, let me show you the bedroom there's a lot of animations on that too. So if you're, oh, that's what happens when you're messy Marvin. I don't even know where my bedroom is. Here's my BU bathroom. Um, it's kind of a tight fit in here, but I'm gonna try to arrange it to where it's a little bit easier to navigate. And here is the beginning of my BU bedroom. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you back here when it's fully decorated. But uh, I had a wonderful time. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to help some of you guys out. And I am looking forward to you joining the BU Citizens here in SL. Um, but yeah, that's it. I am done. If you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you guys have a 